Hello everyone. Hope everyone's well. Hope everyone's blessed. So, made a video yesterday talking about how I want to steer this channel away from from bullshit and the negativity and and, and the back and forths. Now, I, I'll be lying if I said I don't. I still do flick through YouTube when I see people talking about me and I see people, you know, still on the high horse calling me out and saying bad shit. But it is what it is. I'm not going to react to it. At the end of the day, if you truly want to fight, message me in private. If you truly want to fight. Just drop me a message. Facebook, Instagram. Um, yeah. You know, if you're on YouTube saying, I'll fight you, I'll fight him, then you don't really want to fight. It's just it's just bullshit. You know, um, do what I did. Message, message it in private and say, hey, bro, let's fight. But if you don't, then you don't really want to fight. But yeah, listen, I'm in a very, very good place. You know, training is going tremendous. I'm feeling really fit, really sharp. Um, well, to be fair, I could be fitter, but... That's down to a couple of complications that we've had in camp, not being able to do the road work, you know, not being able to to push myself to the ultimate limit because of certain complications that I've had in my, in my camp. But other than that, I'm sharp and I'm fit. I'm easy good for five two rounds, eight five two minutes, easy. I can do five two minutes all day long, not a fucking problem, you know. Um, I'm looking forward to getting in this ring on the twenty third of March and showcasing my skills, you know, my boxing skills. You know, over these last few months, I have drilled all the boxing techniques. You know, slip and roll, slip and rip, punches in bunches, you know, setting things up nicely, stepping off the centre line, all the things that I never did when I was a K1 fighter, because you couldn't. You couldn't. If you start slipping left and right, you, 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 you're you going to get head kicked or you're going to get kneed. If you start rolling under punches, up, a knee is going to come up. So you've got to stay tight and upright when you're a K1 fighter or a Muay Thai fighter. Where now I've, I've adopted this wide stance, I'm a bit thinner, and I'm able to move and put more weight on the back foot and start slipping a bit more, which I'm excited for. You know, my punches are crisp. The speed's coming back. You know, I, I'm down to 102 kilos now. Uh, struggling to stay above the 100 kilo mark, to be fair. But it's all coming together. It's all coming together. And, you know... Win, lose or draw over these next year or two, you know, I'm willing to fight anyone and I'm getting in there and I'm going to bust people wide open. You know, if people don't put me away and they don't finish me, then they, they, they're fucking getting fucked up. It's as simple as that. You know, um, I'm looking forward to my debut on the BKFC in June. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to be fighting on the 23rd of March and then I'm looking to get an, at least another fight in before the June mark. If I can fight, maybe he's... In April, uh, or beginning of May, uh, gloved or K one on Mutai. I'm not asked. I'll fight in any one. I'll fight in any in any organisation as long as there's a wage. You know, as long as you know I can prepare for the for, for the opponent. You know, all you need is four weeks to prepare for a certain opponent. You know, um, if you start taking fights on a week's notice, then. It's fucking stupid. I've done it in the past where I've took fights on short notice and, and come a little bit unstuck for a while, you know, until I catch them, you know. So I won't be doing that. You know, if I can get, if I can take a fight on short notice, I, I wouldn't take it less than three or four weeks, you know, because sometimes you need a week or two to drill stuff, you know, study your opponent and find out what he's good at and what he's not good at, you know. Um, so I'm looking to have a big two year over these next, no, over the, over the next two years, I'm looking to fight and I'm looking to, to, to try and, establish myself in the combat sports game again whether it be boxing bare knuckle boxing or k1 or muay thai i'm definitely up for to get amongst it all you know um k1 is my love i, I love k1 i think k1 is the best the best uh combat sports there is you know um it's the full package it's the it's the ultimate complete way of fighting for me especially striking you know um you get to use all your limbs you know elbows knees Fists, feet, shins, you know, um, yeah. So, yeah, guys, listen, uh, don't listen to all the bullshit you hear on YouTube. Not everything you hear about me or certain individuals is <laughs> is true. Um, I'm staying in my own lane. I'm getting fit. I'm staying sharp. And I'm excited for the future. Oh. And I'm excited for the future. God bless, guys, and take care. Oh, by the way, this is all that matters to me. This is all that matters. I can lose my social media platforms tomorrow and I wouldn't give a shit. As long as these are in my life, I don't give a fuck about no one else. God bless.